Nevertheless, Adam's travels with the doctor and Rose would not last long. Visiting the year 200,000, Adam was overwhelmed by the wealth of information and technology available to him and immediately gave in to temptation and greed. Desperate to gain all the information that the fourth great and bountiful human empire had collected, he learned that only those with an implant could access the data. He had a top-of-the-line computer interface port, an infospike, installed in his head. When the implant activated to access computers, his head opened up, revealing part of his brain. The implant was activated by a snap of the fingers. He tried to transmit information back to 21st century Earth with Rose's superphone. When Adam tapped into the computer systems, he inadvertently gave the Jagraphist knowledge of, and nearly access to, the TARDIS. One of Satellite 5's journalists, Kathika, freed Adam, prevented the Jagraphist from obtaining the TARDIS key and vented heat to floor 500, killing it. Learning of Adam's transmission of information and his additional breach of trust, the doctor angrily returned Adam to his home, who weakly tried to pin his mistakes on the doctor being the one in charge, which quickly turned to apologetic pleading. The doctor destroyed the answering machine which had received the information from the future, after Adam attempted to lie about it. He observed that Adam would have to live a quiet life, lest someone discover the implant in his head and dissect him to find out where it came from. After the doctor and Rose left, Adam was met by his mother, Sandra, who, when talking to him, clicked her fingers. As his head opened up, a look of shock and horror appeared on her face. 